All right, guys, so the last step in the Puzzle Cube project is to create an exploded view IDW. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to PLTWA, Create, and wait on Inventor. So for project name, it's going to be Puzzle Cube. Your name, the date, and the file name is going to be Exploded View. And the reason an Exploded View is important is it shows us how the whole thing goes together. When this comes up, just tell it OK. All right. So I'm going to go to base and I'm going to click on the magnifying glass to search and I want go to inventor files if it only shows your assembly and I want my animation file which is the IPN so tell it open and we want ISO top right. Now obviously this is too big, but I'm going to click for right now and fix it. All right. Hit escape because you only want one view, you don't want a projected view on this. So once again I picked ISO top right for the orientation. I'm going to change the scale. Try point five. see how that looks, and we want it colored. Point five is too small. So I'm going to do 0.75. It all depends on how far you pulled them out, and that looks reasonable. Okay, I'm going to move them up because I need this space down here to do the parts list. So what a parts list is, is it lists, obviously, the parts. Um, for a puzzle cube, it's pretty simple. For something else, it might be pretty complex. So we're going to go to Annotate Parts List where it says select document, pick your assembly file, it should automatically pull it up if you have everything saved in the same folder. Tell it OK. Bring this box down here. It should fit nice and neat next to the title block. And if you did this right, your pieces should be spelled correctly. You know, if you named them what they actually were and not after wrappers, you know, it'll be what they're supposed to be. Now let's say I want to edit my parts list because this says like yellow 2 or, you know, I forgot to put piece on here as opposed to what I should have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click and it's going to bring up this uh, window and I can edit in the window what I want it to say. So I'm going to make all of these say yellow piece, dark green, dark green piece, okay. light green piece, pink piece, and red piece. Um, description is where you would put the um, material, but since we don't really have a material for this project other than, you know, it's eventually going to wind up being wood, you can leave that blank. And notice it changes it here. Whatever you do, do not do not go back to your files and rename your files. Don't do it. You're going to mess up everything that you've done. So just change it here and it's just a superficial change. Um, so the last step is balloons. Click on balloon. Click on one of the pieces. Double click. Five should correspond to red piece and it does. When you put balloons on, balloons can be on any angle provided it is not 180 or 90 degrees. They got to be on some wacky angle. Okay, and once I get my balloons on, I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to print it. And make sure you print to the 5430. That's what it looks like. It says 10.0.49.98 LS, LHS, E15430DN. Okay, some of you guys have been trying to print to the plotter, which is the design jet. We're going to print to the plotter when we do the trains, but... Don't waste paper on the plotter right now. Tell it OK. Put this in the bin and you're done.